We're going to explore playing jazz cello, and we're going to start with one of the most common chord progressions that you'll find, what we like to call one, six, two, five. Those are the numbers of the chords, and in the key of G, those would give us the chords of G, E, A, and D. So we've got one, six, two, five. And this is just one of the most common chord progressions that establishes a key in jazz. And so you'll, you'll find 1-6-2-5s in so many jazz standards. And uh, it's actually, because it's so common, this little unit, we can kind of practice in isolation in all sorts of different keys. And it's really going to empower us to feel more comfortable playing jazz. Uh, the great jazz guitarist Joe Pass used to talk about this chord progression with the words, I like coffee. He would call it the I like coffee chord progression. I like coffee. I like coffee. And so that's just a helpful, helpful mnemonic device to get it in your ear. Uh, but why don't you play along with me and we'll just kind of play maybe uh, how about four beats on each chord? So we'll have one bar for each chord. And you can just play the roots with me first. So we've got G, E, A, D. Do it with me again. G, E, A, D. And we can fill out the chords a little bit more. We're going to have a G major chord followed by E minor, A minor to D major. So we're basically going major, minor, minor, major. And uh, to play these chords on the cello, the G major would be 001. Then we'd shift most likely to play 112 for the E. Then again, one, one, two for the A minor, ending with one, one, three for D major. Now the other side of this is that in jazz, we pretty much always add the seventh to a chord. So to play a G major seventh chord, we would add an F sharp on third finger of the D string. That gives us a nice major seven chord. And then for the minor seventh of the E minor chord, we'll kind of bar the first finger on the bottom and then bar the second finger on top. The A minor would be fingered with one, four, two to get our A minor seven chord. And our D seven chord would be one, one, three, two. All together, this would be like this. So these sevenths really help, help us establish the full key of G major and all of the qualities of these chords. So now, um, if this is all new to you, I've got some good news. In order to improvise over these chords, we only need to know one scale because all of four of these chords are, are rooted in the key of G major. So if you know the G major scale, then you can just play any and all notes in G major and it will work over this chord progression. Um, I can, you can even sort of pitch the chords and sing your improvised solo, which I'll do now just so you hear how the notes of G major go over this chord progression. So we've got, again, G major 7, E minor 7, a minor 7 to D7 and improvise in G major. All I did is just 
just sing the scale up and down. After you get used to hearing those notes, you can, you know, obviously just improvise as you wish using the, those notes. Once you get those chords in your ear, you can improvise melodically on the cello, uh, remembering the harmonies in your ear and just playing melodically on the cello now. So, one, two, three, four. This, uh, once you get used to the sound of this chord progression, uh, you'll be able to identify it immediately in all sorts of songs. And, uh, and after you work on it in G major, the path forward for you is going to be to uh, uh, repeat that exercise in all 12 keys. And so you'll become really comfortable in so many settings and you'll be empowered to feel uh, confident to improvise more in jazz standards. Thank you.